Well, we continue to follow the Stellantis plant in Belvedere potentially reopening. This after the UAW reached a tentative deal with the automaker six days ago. Now hundreds of union members could be heading back to work after being laid off in February when the plant went idle. Workers were given several options when the plant closed. Retirement eligible employees were offered a $50,000 retirement incentive. Employees with less than two years until they were retirement eligible were offered a separate incentive plan. Other employees who wished to stay with the company could also relocate at select plants across the country. But some workers chose to head into the classroom using the Education Tuition Assistance Plan offered by the UAW. It provides workers with $6,000 towards school each calendar year. 13 WREX's Emily McMinn spoke to one student who made that choice, as well as instructors at Rock Valley College who are working to help set her up for her next steps professionally. When the Stellantis plant went idle in February, one of these workers took the time off as an opportunity to go to school here at RVC to learn new skills in the automotive industry, hoping to return back to work more equipped than when she left. Arlene Simmons spent 17 years working at the Belvedere plant before being laid off after the Stellantis plant idled in February. After choosing to not take the buyout offered to employees, she's returned to school at Rock Valley College, something she had to put on pause a couple of years ago due to the demanding work schedule. Now she's hoping to return to the plant with more skills than when she left. It will help me have more skills and, and then since I knew how to build a car, now I'm going to know how to fix them and repair them. And it's just a blessing and I learn something every day here. Rock Valley College has four students who all began taking classes in the automotive program after being laid off. For the college, they say they are just trying to do their part to support them as they either return to the plant or move forward in the industry. We reskill them, allow them to get certifications in automotive repair, um, and other areas in the automotive industry. For one of the program's instructors, seeing the students transfer the skills they learned at the plant to now doing maintenance on the cars has been helpful as the students work to broaden their skill set. Interesting watching them connect the dots between maybe the components that they've already installed or seen going down the assembly line and then actually learning what those components do. In Simmons, simply working to improve herself as she waits for that fateful call. And it's just a blessing that we're going to be open. So I had faith, though, with them. That's why I didn't take the buyout, and I'm you know, just waiting for them to call us back to work. And until then, I'm here. For now, Simmons plans to finish her degree before returning to work as soon as she is able. Reporting in Rockford, Emily McMinn, 13 WREX. Rock Valley College will begin an electric vehicle program in the spring, expanding the skills within the automotive industry that they're able to offer.